Hello and welcome to the video. In this video, we'll go through step 21 of the SAP UI5 walkthrough series. In step 21, we will discuss about expression binding. Expression binding is used when we want to perform some simple calculation on the data which we are retrieving from our JSON model. And based on that simple calculation, we are able to format the data which we are displaying on our SAP UI5 screen. To perform such calculations, we make use of expression binding. In this scenario, we are going to format the price value which we are displaying on the screen. As you can see here that we are formatting the price value with different colors based on their actual value which is coming from our JSON model. To do this, as you can see, we introduce a new property here, number state in our object list item control. And for this property, we are making use of the expression binding syntax. Here you can see an equal to sign. This equal to sign signifies that this binding syntax is an expression binding syntax. So here we perform some simple calculation by comparing the value of extended price. And based on the value of the extended price, whether it's greater than 50 or not, we display the number state as error or as success. This question mark here is called a ternary operator, which basically provides a short form of an if else statement. One important point to note here is that the binding from our JSON model has to be escaped by this dollar sign inside our expression binding syntax. Therefore, after the equal to sign, we have a dollar sign, which is an escape character. And then we provide the value from our JSON model based on which we intend to perform our calculations. Therefore, in this case, if the extended price value is greater than 50, then we display the number state as error, which will be shown in red color format. And if the value of extended price is less than 50, then we are going to show the number state as success, which will be displayed as green color format for our extended price value. Now, if we run the application after introducing this one line of code, we can see here that the prices for which the value is greater than 50, we are showing that in red color and the prices which are less than equal to 50 are being shown in green color. So this is the error format for our number state. And this is the success format for our numbers, number state, which is getting into effect because of this line of code. Now, important point to note here is that expressions are limited to a particular set of operations that help formatting the data, such as math expression, comparison, and such. Also, it is recommended to only use expression binding for trivial calculations. So that is it for this video for step 21 and where we discussed about expression binding. In the next video, we'll discuss about custom formatters in step 22. If you have any questions, please put down in the comment section. Till then, thank you for watching the video and have a nice day.